Welcome once again. Today I have somebody who is so close and so interesting and such an amazing person. I could not resist but have a talk with him. I have Rajesh with me who is the Deputy Mayor for London. You know? When you hear Rajesh's story, it's such an inspiration and I'm sure that I have been inspired. All of you are also been inspired. Rajesh, when I hear about you, you started from Indore, from a very humble background and, and we all know that you were not those flashy star performers in terms of education who would go to Mumbai, TIMs. And from there you started a small job and you in fact sold off your motorcycle to buy a one-way ticket to London and then set up a business and you became like the, the biggest poster boy for fintech and then the, the journey to become the deputy mayor of London, a successful deputy mayor of London. So we have to hear the story, right? I have been so inspired by the story and I'm very sure that all those who are listening to this will be inspired by Trish. Let's hear. How did you do that and how did you start and how did you become who you are? Well, thank you very much, first of all, for those kind uh, words. I'm so delighted uh, to meet you here in, in, in London. I mean, it, it's about the drive that uh, you have within mm -hmm. and with the hard work and determination, you can achieve what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. I think so. So I grew up in Indore and a very humble sort of lower middle class family of Indore. And I remember until I was eight or nine, we had no uh, beds uh, in our one room tenant bed where we used to live with uh, two parents and two siblings, five of us. But uh, I had good education. I was never excellent, I was never the topper of the class, but I had good education. I finished my education, worked in a small designing company, 5,000 rupees a month, it was my salary back in 1999. And then I got an opportunity to come to London in 2001. Uh, where I worked in a small foreign exchange company for about three years. But then the entrepreneurial bug hit me. And I still remember I uh, quit my job with a snap because I had this great idea to start the business only to realize that I've got no money in the bank account. Uh, so I prepared a PowerPoint presentation, uh, went to a bank to ask for a 10,000 pound loan to start the business, they turned me down. Uh, so I went back to the uh, same bank two days later and I said, you are right. I should not start my own business. I'm thinking of continuing with my job. Uh, but I'm thinking of buying a car. So they lent me 20,000 pounds to buy the car. Of course, I never bought the car. I didn't even have a driving license. But that was my living off money for the next 18 months. And I had a laptop, I bought a printer and built the business. We became one of the fastest growing businesses in the country. But I was always interested in bringing social change. So I was involved in numerous charities. Um, and after a while, I realized that if you want to bring change at a big scale in the society, you've got to get involved in politics and policy. So I joined politics and it is the greatness of this city that I became deputy mayor, not once, but twice of the greatest city in the world. So never would I have thought that when I first landed at Heathrow Airport 20 years ago with 200 pounds in my pocket, that I'll end up being the deputy mayor of the greatest city in the world. So you can achieve what you want to achieve uh, with your hard work and determination. That is what Rajesh is, hard work and determination. But there's another facet to him, which I have seen very closely. His understanding of all the religious texts, spiritual texts across the world at a very young age, his spiritualism, his calmness, his simplicity of thoughts and the power behind it is something which is completely unimaginable. So I want to hear that at a very early age, you picked up all the religious texts, you, you understood them so well. And whenever I speak to you, I see that simplicity of thought and the power of thought. How did you get that? Like, like that is something which I wish every citizen of the world could get that because then the world would be much safer, much happier, much better place, right? Any thought on that? Well, ultimately we are all spiritual beings. And we, at some point in our life, we get the quest to find out the deeper meaning. Because ultimately, the biggest questions of all is who am I? And we developed that. So from very early age, I had a huge amount of interest in uh, meditation. Uh, and I spent a lot of time to, uh, reading religious texts, whether it's, uh, whether it's Hinduism, or Christianity, or Judaism, or Buddhism, and Sikhism, and, and so on. So all different religious texts. But the important thing is that you've got to find out for yourself. Religion is not a family property that can be just inherited. You have to earn it. And you earn it by meditating and no matter how close you are to anybody else, but you have to do it yourself. It's one of those things. Um, so I believe that uh, 
you have to, meditation is a great tool for that because meditation gives you the opportunity to uh, see through uh, and realize that you are one with the world. I remember Rajesh, I was reading the Patanjali Yoga Sutra and that uh, Patanjali, the great sage, mentioned that even if you don't follow any God, Ishwar, you can still attain enlightenment. Spiritualism is a very scientific process to the point that you said and in that the stillness of mind is something which is very critical. I also heard Lord Buddha mention in one of his books uh, which I read, he says, uh, somebody asked him like, what is this enlightenment? He said, when the water is calm, you can see the bottom of the lake. In one sentence, he explained it so simply. So, in the simplicity of thoughts, ideas, and the power of it is so amazing. It really impresses me. You also like the head for business for London in a way, like a deputy mayor. You handle that. What's your view on business? Like on business, on, on poverty, on economic growth. How should countries and how people think about it uh, for uh, the benefit of the society and people? Now, I think businesses play such an important role in the society because they are the ones that create wealth which is hugely important, they are the ones creating jobs but equally we've got to make sure that everybody benefits from it and there is a more egalitarian society so post pandemic we are trying to make sure that London's recovery is fairer and greener and it's you know the economic inequality has worsened uh, after the pandemic and we want to make sure that it's uh, the recovery is good. I think I'm a big tech enthusiast as a tech entrepreneur, and I think technology has got the power to make society more equal. But nobody should be left behind. Everybody should be brought together, and everybody should be able to reap the benefits of uh, of technology and of the economic growth. Uh, and that's uh, one of the most uh, most important. I am so very impressed. When I look at the city of London here, so crowded, everybody bustling with activity. I am very sure Rajesh and his team are doing this amazing job where you can see this happen. Creation of wealth, greener side, doing it the better way, removing the inequality so that people are prosperous, happy is the way forward. Amazing meeting him. And, the, yes, and can I just say, by the way, whilst we are in London and I wouldn't be doing justice to my job if I don't do this, I say wherever you are watching in the world, come to London as the greatest city in the world. Uh, if you are interested in concerts, we've got Ed Sheeran performing in uh, Wembley. Uh, we've got ABBA Voyage, uh, if you are an ABBA fan. If you are interested in tennis, we've got Wimbledon on. If you are interested in cricket, we've got India playing uh, England at the moment. If you are interested in education, we've got more universities than any other city in the world. If you are interested in theatre, we've got more theatres than any other in the world. If you're interested in rugby, we've got Twickenham. If you've got uh, interested in cricket, we've got Lords and uh, Oval uh, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's an amazing city. So do come, do visit if you get a chance. And I always thought I was a good salesperson. On sales with Rajesh later on, but you can see his passion for building the city to the level that he wants to take it. So much learning from him, but paucity of time, we'll meet him again, talk about his vision of building the city, the country, and the world. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you.